Hiya, so this is for lesson four, the fourth lesson of the 2024 sequences and series pack. Right, so it uh, says here, further use of the sigma notation. Right, so it says sometimes you may be asked to look for ones that don't start at hands one. So if you look at this one, from 10 to 100, it starts at 10 and goes up to 100. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do all of them from 1 to 100, but I need to chop off the ones that I didn't want here, which was 1 to 9. So I'm going to chop off the sum from 1 to 9. So it's the sum of the first 100 terms minus the sum of the first 9 terms. Sometimes it's quite nice to think of it as maybe like a, a block. So I want from the... 10th term all the way up to the 100th term. So that means that I have to chop off the first term through to the 9th term. So I do the first 100 and I take away the first 9. I always do it one less. So if I wanted something which was say the sum from 15 to 30, it would be the sum of the first 30 terms, and because I want it to start at the 15th term, I take away the sum of the first 14 terms. So then that's what you do in one off bit. So that's good. It says here, doesn't it, in like one off bit. There. Right, so let's have a go then. Uh, right. So I've got an example. So I want to work out this. So what I really want is the sum of the first 93 terms minus the sum of the first 11 terms. But I need to determine if it's arithmetic, and I've got include there, or geometric. That's the first thing I need to do. So if you remember, I've all, kind of always said the first three terms. That tells you for definite. Right, so let's have a look then. So if I put n is 1 in, I've got 12. If I put n is 2 in, I've got 17. If I put n is 3 in, I've got 22. So hopefully you can see that that's arithmetic. So, so hard not to write AP. Where A is 12 and D is 5. So I'm going to sum. So remember my sum equation is that. So I'm working out the sum of the first, and I put that in a slightly wrong place here. If I was being really careful and I wrote that there, I'm going to do the sum of the first 93 minus the sum of the first 11. Did I say 11? Or did I say 12? I'm getting myself all confused on this one there. So I want to include the 12 terms, so it's a sum of the first 11 that I'm taking. So I have 93 over 2, 2 lots of 12, 93, so I have 92 lots of 5. Minus the sum of the first 11 terms, because I want to start at 12, so I chop off the first 11. I've got a horrible feeling I put a 12 bit there and it could help me. But luckily, all evidence is gone because it's an 11 there now. So 11 over 2, 2 lots of 12. 12 minus 1, oh no, sorry, 11 minus 1 is 10. Believe it or not, I need to come up for a quick order soon. It's going to start to make that noise. If I put that in the calculator, Martin says, because I certainly don't trust myself, 22,099. There. Sorry about that. I'll try and get through this, uh, this lesson without making it any worse. So because I wanted the 12th term, or from the 12th term, I take away the first 11. Please be really clear on that. I've got a horrible feeling I said it wrong in there. Right, next. Oops, there's a question for you. So, so you do it. So decide if it's AP or GP, then decide on using the right equation, and decide on which bits you're taking away. I'll pause it, then you can think on it.
I'm not sure if Paul's done. Can we just have me doing that work? I can see, right? Definitely stopping after this, this lesson. Um, right, come on, let's have a go at this thing. So I've got four minutes left to do a problem solving question. The whole point in the pause in it was to give me more time. Never mind. Right, so it says the first term is five and the common difference is three. So A is five, B is three. I want from the sum of n to 2n. So if you imagine going from the first term to 2n, so that's all right, that's the sum of the first two n terms. But I want from the nth term, so this is the bit I want, so I need to chop off from the n minus 1. So that's the bit I have to get rid of. So I'm going to do it as the sum of 2n minus the sum of n minus 1. So it's going to be the sum of 2n minus the sum of n minus 1. Right. Okay. And that's equal to 2, 7, 5. Let me write that bit out. Sum of 2n minus the sum of n minus 1. It's 2, 7, 5, 5. There. So you're kind of happy with that. Right. Then. Let's stick the formulas in then. So n over 2. So I've got 2n over 2. 2 lots of 5 plus n minus 1, so 2n minus 1 lots of 3, minus n minus 1 over 2, 2 lots of 5, plus n minus 1 minus 1, so that's n minus 2, lots of 3. It's equal to 2, 7, 5, 0. That line's in the wrong way, isn't it, really? Right then, so how are we going to do this then? Hmm. Let me pause. I'm going to be a little bit sneaky because I'm running out of time. If you expand all these brackets here, hopefully, hopefully, you get um, a six n squared plus seven n with this one. Hopefully, you get. Ooh, what will it be? Uh, a 3n squared plus n minus 4. That's all divided by 2. That's equal to 2, 7, 5, 0. Oh. If I multiply through by 2, and then rearrange everything, Minus, minus, that's a plus, that's four, four, mm, no, 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 I'm rushing four, four, nine, six, and zero. Stick it in solver, you get minus two, two, nine over nine, oh my god, and 24. Oh.